Hi kids! Today, we are going to talk about tenses of verbs. Are you ready? Let's go! Before we start our lesson, let us define verbs. What are verbs? Verbs are action words. These are some examples of verbs. We have eat, play, bath, sing, and pray. But do you know that verb has tenses? Yes. Verb tenses show when an action took place as well as how long it occurred. There are three tenses of verbs in English, the past, the present, and the future. The standard tense in English is the present tense, which is usually just the root form of the verb, while the past and the future tenses often require changes or addition to the root form such as the suffix ed for the past tense and the modal verb will for the future. Now let us talk about simple tenses. The simple present tense indicates action occurring now, those occurring habitually, and those are always true. Usually, the simple present tense is just the base form of the verb, unless the subject is in the third person, and in that case, you have to add S or ES to the root word. For example, let us take a look at these sentences. These are some examples of simple present tense. The first sentence, I study every morning. The first sentence use the base form of the verb, while the second sentence has the subject she, which is the third person. That is why we need to change the verb study to studies. She studies every morning. Again, remember, in forming the simple present tense, for most of the verb, we just have the base form of the, be uh, of the verb itself. For example, we jump. But, if it's the third person, like he, she, or it, we have to use the base form of the verb plus adding S or ES. Example, he jumps. Did you get it? Great! Next, let us talk about the simple past tense. The past tense describes actions that occurred at a specific time prior and do not extend into the present. In other words, the action is already completed. The past tense is usually formed by adding ed or ed to the base form of the verb, unless it is an irregular verb. But how do we form the simple past tense? If you are dealing with a regular verb, the simple past tense is formed like this. Base form of the verb plus ed. For example, jump, jumped. Now, let us take a look at this example. These are the simple past tense sentences. The first sentence use the verb study, which is an irregular verb that is why we need to change the spelling from study to studied the next sentence i played tennis play is a regular verb so we just add ed to the base form play played remember time expressions such as a while ago last night this morning a week ago yesterday are used to indicate past action. Now, the third tense of verb, the simple future tense. The simple future tense describes action that will happen in the future. 
to form this, you just have to use will plus the base form of the verb. Let us look at the example. I will study tomorrow morning. Will plus study, which is the base form of the verb. Again, remember, in forming the simple future tense, we just have to put the modal will plus the base form of the verb. Example, he will jump. Now, let us study the following. We have three tenses of verb. Let us read the words in each tenses. Notice the changes in every tenses. The present, the past, and the future. Number one, visit, visited, will visit. Number two, watch, watched, will watch. Number three, play, played, will play. And number four, swim, swam, will swim. And number five, sing, sang, will sing. Did you get it? Great! Now, I think you are ready for a quiz. Let us have the activity A. Let us identify the tense of verb. Write if it is simple present, simple past, or simple future. Again, you have to identify the tense of verb. Write if it is simple present, simple past, or simple future. Now, let us check your answers. For number one, went. Simple past. Number two, will study. Simple future. Number three, go. Simple present. Number four, praise. Simple present. And number five, cook. Simple present. Did you got the perfect score? are doing great now let us have the second activity identify the verbs in the sentences and then indicate if it's simple present simple past or simple future tense are you ready great number one the rose blooms beautifully what is the verb in the sentence and what is the tense of it? Let us check your answers. The verb is blooms. And it is in simple present. Number two. We will go to the beach on Saturday. What is the verb and what is the tense of it? Let us check your answer. The verb is will go. And that is in simple future. Very good. Number three. We attended church service last Sunday. What is the verb? And what is the tense of it? Let us check your answers. The verb is attended. And it is in simple past. You are all amazing! I hope you have learned something today. Till next time, thank you for watching. Bye!